You may have heard that uh, you know investing in a tax deed uh, and getting a house at auction is a great way to you know pick up some property for a small price. You can you can turn it into a big uh, big investment, a big win there. Uh, but there's some things that maybe you need to know about the auction process itself. Well, this is good because we're talking to Ted Thomas right here, and Ted is pretty much the authority uh, on tax tax liens and tax uh, deeds and, and auctions and such. So Ted, could you fill us in? I mean, you know, I'm thinking about uh, I want I want to do this. I, I, I maybe I see a property in the paper. You've shown us how to find them, and what happens when I go to this auction? What what should I expect? How do I do this? Well, I would tell people to start out. If you're going to go to auctions, why not practice a little bit? You know, that kind of works out. You know, all right. You'll yeah. learn to be a great piano player, or trumpet, or anything else without uh, practice. So you can go to as many auctions as you want and watch what they do, so you're not terrified by the auctioneer or what's going on in the room. I can tell you this: if you show up at some auction, there might be 400 people there, but basically it's 80-20. 80 percent 80 aren't doing anything, 20 percent are doing everything. All right. So the auctions take place there live. Uh, you can go in the room, you can sit there and watch, you can sit in the back and watch the, uh, the the give and take of the room, how people do things. You'll always find a certain amount of people that are really aggressive. Then you'll find other people that are timid. Then you'll, ha you'll find 80% don't know what the heck they're doing. There are people that will come to the auction not knowing what they're doing and they'll pay retail price. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They, did, they don't know what they're doing. They're just thinking they're buying it at an auction. So um, you want to practice on paper before you go so that you know what you're going to spend. Now, I just happen to have a white shirt on today. So if I had that white shirt on, I would, before I left for the auction, I probably would have written with my pen that the maximum I'm going to spend. Uh, okay. I carry a sheet of paper to do that, but you're getting the idea. You don't want to get uh, involved in that auction because, well, this is going to suck you right up to the top, which is what the auctioneer is trying to do. So we, we know we're going to buy 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. And why do we know that? because this is a business for us. I'm teaching you a business and the business is simply this. I just want you to copy Walmart, Costco and Target. They have a very simple business plan. Buy it low, sell it low. Buy it low, sell it low. So if you can buy for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar, don't try to sell it at market. Sell it at something where you make a nice profit. Now. That means before you go to the auction, you have already figured out this is my maximum bid because I know I can sell it tomorrow afternoon for that. Now, let me give you an example of that. It's really simple. And if you keep it simple, you'll be successful. $100,000 property, all those fixer upper guys out there will give you 50 or 60,000 for that tomorrow. Why? Because they got to go in and they got to fix the floors and fix the windows and paint it and fix the roof. And they got to do all that. They love to do that. They call them flippers. Fix property up. That was great. Your uncle taught you, your dad taught you, forget about that. We want to buy it low, then sell it low. So we spend 30 cents on the dollar, sell it for 50 cents. It'll sell quickly. How do you sell it? It's not difficult. Think of all the electronic ways we could do that. Could we put it on eBay? Could we Craigslist? Could we put it on any one of the electronic sites? Could you put it on Trulia? Could, you could just go on and on. You put it on the multiple listings chart. You put it all those places and say, I got a hundred thousand dollar property. I'll sell it for fifty thousand. Your your email is going to explode. Why? Because all the fixer upper people are looking for property. I just want to buy them and then I want to resell them. So we can practice all that before we go to the auction. Now, when you go there, some people start inching the price up. You don't want to do that. Why? Because there'll be another auction, which I can guarantee you, this year in the United States, they will have five thousand auctions. You only have to make your money at one or two of them. There's no hurry. There's plenty. This is a business of abundance and the rest of the world doesn't know about it. And if you don't believe it, go to tedthomas.com and you'll see one after another. People tell you, I made 25, I made 28, I made 50. These are just average people. They're not spending hours doing it. But let's go back to the auction. Long answer to the question, go to the auction multiple times. Every time there's an auction, show up, watch what happens. After you've done that 10 times, you're ready to go. And you can do them online. That's really neat. Uh, and you know, this is what, what what you said this time around. We've, we've been talking all day today in a bunch of great videos that you can see at tedthomas.com. A lot of great informational videos. But you know, your, your point about buy low, sell low. You know, normally the whole, the whole saying in investing and stuff is you want to buy low, sell high, buy low, sell. 
you're saying, no, no, you can do it quicker. And that's that's kind of interesting. And that's that's a remarkable sort of viewpoint here. So check out some of our other videos. We've had a lot of great uh, subjects we've been talking about today, and they're all waiting there for you. TedThomas.com. Check it out right now.